Welcome to AT&T Cybersecurity and the Express Ticketing Portal. We've put together this overview to provide key information that you'll need as our valued customer. In this video, we'll show you how to open a ticket, add an attachment, and check the status of your ticket. We'll wrap up with some helpful resources. Let's jump in. We've tried to make access to Express Ticketing as easy as possible, so the portal is available on desktop and mobile devices. Did you know that finding our Express Ticketing portal is as easy as searching for it on Google? Just search for Express Ticketing and it will come right up in your search results. You can also save the link as a bookmark for quick access. The link is expressticketing.acss.att.com. Once you're on the login screen, to create a new ticket, you'll enter the asset ID in the Create a New Ticket section. Your asset ID is the BAN number or billing account number. If you don't know your BAN number, please request it by emailing our support team at dl-emmexpressticketissue at att.com. Enter the BAN number into the field and click Continue. It may take a few moments for the record to be found since the search is looking across multiple systems. Once the BAN number has been found, you'll be asked to validate the asset with the customer number. To do this, enter the FAN number or Foundation Account Number and click Continue. Your BAN and FAN numbers can be found in your welcome email and your support documentation. As I mentioned earlier, you can also request them by emailing our support team at dl-emmexpressticketissue at att.com. Once the customer number has been validated, select the product type and platform, then click Validate Product. From there, you'll see a list of open tickets as well as ticket history. The ticket numbers are clickable if you'd like to view them. Click Continue to proceed with opening up a new ticket. First, add a short problem description. We like to refer to this as the bluff statement or bottom line up front. What's the bottom line of the problem that you're having in a quick sentence? In the problem details, please provide more information about the issue, including the what, when, where, how, etc. Any relevant details that you can provide will help to speed up the investigation of your issue. For instance, when was the issue first detected? Or when was the last time that everything was working as expected? This may help pull logs for comparison. Another example is if you have a similar asset that's working versus one that isn't. Provide both examples for comparison. Or you can state if nothing is working. Was there a recent update to your system? This type of information is very helpful to our support team. Once you've entered your description, select Other for the reported trouble description and click Continue. On the contact information screen, enter the person who will be the contact for the ticket. You'll enter their name, email address, and phone number. Make sure that this person is the local on-premise contact. Then select the preferred notification method and click Continue. On the summary screen, verify the information you've entered and click the pencil icon if you need to make any changes. If everything looks correct, scroll down and review the terms of use. Check the box once your review is complete and then you can submit your ticket. It may take a few moments for your ticket to be created. You'll see a confirmation with your ticket number once it's done. If you click the link for the ticket number on your confirmation window, you'll see the ticket status screen. From there, you can view real-time status of your ticket as well as make additional updates, such as adding a log note, uploading an attachment, requesting an escalation, managing notifications and contact information, chatting with a live agent, and requesting ticket closure. Attaching any relevant files you have, such as screenshots, error messages, or logs, can help with the investigation of your issue. It's very easy to do. Click the Upload Manage Files link on the right side of the screen. You can view and manage any previously uploaded files by clicking the View All Files button. To upload a new file, add your contact information, and then select the file that you wish to upload. Finally, add a description or note about the file and click Upload. 
Once your file is uploaded successfully, you'll get a confirmation window displaying the files for the ticket with options to upload another file or return to the ticket status screen. The contact that you entered when you created the ticket will receive an email confirmation once the ticket has been created. It will include a clickable link to the ticket to view up-to-date status. If you have a Severity 1 issue, such as the entire system being down without a workaround, please refer to your customer support document for additional guidance. To check status of a ticket through the portal, go to the Check Ticket Status section, enter the ticket number, and click Search. You'll need to enter the BAN and FAN numbers as well as the PIN provided in the confirmation email. If you do not enter the PIN number, some of the ticket information will not be displayed and some features such as uploading a file will not be available. As a reminder, more helpful information can be found in your customer support document. If you need assistance with the Express Ticketing Portal, you can email our support team at dl-emm express ticket issue at att.com. As always, thank you for the opportunity to serve you as our valued customer.